as we enter our first season of sanity, yes, please, thank you so much. We're talking about the winter season. Everybody knows in Chicago what happens in the winter time, right? It's cold. And life is a lot like that. Am I in the way, Keith? Uh, can you see the board? Good. Good. Okay. So, of course, we're talking about education, which is the beginning of your journey. You really can't go anywhere in life without an ed education. And sometimes that doesn't always mean school, but education, self-education as well. And that's where the journey begins. And it's so hard not to be judgmental against those who are not college educated. So we want to keep in mind sometimes there are people in our lives who have come and gone and they have not had the experience of college. And we can't always judge them because we don't know what their life story is. So just keep that in mind. But, but be thankful that you have the opportunity to be here at college and, and, and to share that information with others. I want to tell a little bit about myself and how I came to be where I am today because that might give you some insight as to what you think you're going to do in life. And let me tell you, you have a plan and life has a plan too. So I'll just tell you a little bit about the jobs that I've had that all led to where I am today. Of course, you can see this on the screen. I was a receptionist at the Chicago Board of Trade, Citibank, Build, UILD, that's broader urban Thank you very much. So I just got a liberal arts degree. 
And that may not seem nothing like nothing to you. Once upon a time, it meant something. Doesn't mean a whole lot now. But anyway, I got a little large degree. And at the same time, I was always searching. So there was a school called uh, the YMCA School of Metaphysics. It was over on Wacker. Do you remember that? Remember Boy, that. am I aging myself here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, oh, it's a good thing. I, I know Tupac and, and Biggie and Aaliyah, they all wish they were around. I know uh, that's right. What was that? I said I know that's yes, right. Yes, ma'am. So anyway, I was always searching. So I went there and I took uh, two semesters. I had a metaphysics class. I was ready for it, but I wasn't ready for it. Do you know what metaphysics is? That's some homework for you. Uh, <laughs> like you need some more homework, right? Uh, metaphysics, studying beyond what appears to be. It's a little deep, a little spiritual. So, but anyway, check it out. Do a little homework. Give me glad you did. But anyway, long story short, it took me four years to graduate from a two-year college. Why? Because I was too busy playing Big Wiz 101. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So, am, am I, can you see? Okay, because I can just step back here. Anyway, so that took me to... Um, Columbia College, and there was this, always this thing in the back of my mind, because people tell you, you know, you're less than if you go to a community college, you're better if you go to a uh, university, so I always had that in the back of my head, and I'm thinking to myself, will I be better if I go to Columbia? But anyway, at the time, my sister was studying ph photography, and I was still at Luke Junior College, and she invited me to go to class with her one day, and she took me to the dark room, and in that dark room, You take the picture, you put it in the tray, and you shuffle it like this, add some chemicals to it, and the picture comes to life. And that freaked me out. And I was like, yes, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so I went to, after I graduated from, uh, from uh, Luke Junior College, I went to Columbia, and I began to study uh, media. Columbia, my own matter. This is where I found myself because my first assignment, was, uh, I was a journalism major because I love to write. Writing is my first love. Who here has first love? You're the only one? I don't mean a person, I mean the thing you like to do. <laughs> Speak, cook, rap, run, something. Okay, good. So writing was my first love. So I took a journalism course and I loved it. I was in love. I just loved all my, my teachers. Of course, they were men. Uh, and my first assignment was to go out and cover a fire. You know, I had to write about the fire. The fire was on North Avenue and Orleans, well, just south of Orleans. And it broke my heart because the mother lost two children. And I had to go up in her face with a microphone and ask her how she felt. Oh my goodness. This is not something I could do. So of course I flunked that assignment. And I said, maybe this is not what I want to do. So I said, let me try some other things. I'm at Columbia. It's a fine arts college. It's a private college. I didn't know that at the time because I was too busy being me. And I discovered there was a television course. Well, who doesn't like to watch television? We watch television 24-7, right? So I'm watching television. And I think, well, maybe I can be an anchor. Well, that didn't work out. Uh, it was just too boring. So I said, okay, let me try something else right here. So you can see I like to talk, right? So that's why I found my niche. Uh, Columbia has a radio station called WCRX FM. And that is where I found myself. I was like, wow, I can talk and I get paid for this? Yeah, this is going to be all right with me. So I had an internship. Anybody here ever had an internship? Yeah, at Columbia. At Columbia, sure really? Did. You went to Columbia too? No, I had an internship for my master's at Columbia, uh, helping to teach the um, rhetoric writing class. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, a couple years wow. ago. Wow, you need to talk to her about internships. Can it make a difference in your life? Absolutely. I had a chance to work at WGCI. It was the number one station. I guess it still is. Is it? Does anybody here listen to GCI? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One thirty. Uh, 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 it's still top. You still is it? Okay. I'm doing it. Well, he no, he's not there anymore. He's oh, at Soul 106.3. So oh. you don't listen to it either. I don't know her. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to WNUA Smooth okay. Jazz, which is now a, a, a Latin station. Right. Okay. And 95.5. Uh, 95.5 yes. Smooth Jazz. Yes. So I didn't get a chance to be on the radio there, but I had an internship with the D Denise Jordan Walker show. So that means as a producer, I pull the music, answer the phone, book the guests. I was girl Friday, you name it, I did it. Uh, running around like a chicken with a head cut off. So, uh, radio personality versus a DJ. Do you know what the difference between the two? Neither did I. <laughs> you know the long. Radio personality is the person who's on the air. DJs at the club, they spin, right? I've been the radio personality and I always wanted to DJ. Never got a chance to do it until my girlfriend got married about three, about five years ago and I DJed her way. That was my first wedding. I had so much fun. Anywho, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. So when you, because I used to do both, DJ 
Oh, did you? Yes, when I was in college. But so if you're a radio personality, but you're still spinning the records, so what do you call that? All radio personalities are not DJs. They don't spin out in a club. Okay, because I did both at a radio station. You were both, both titles. Okay. Yeah, because a lot of people, a, a lot of DJs, they DJs only at clubs. They're not on the radio. But people still call them radio personalities. Right, okay. People I didn't just know there was call them in the name and the title. Okay, just curious. Anywho, uh, good question. Season two, this is where the spring begins. In the season of spring, who here likes spring in Chicago? Everybody. I like you. I know I do. I love it. Well, Birds. spring season is the searching season, and it's always an inside job. You think it's an outside job, but it never is. It's always an inside. And as we go on, you'll begin to see how, because we we, we always look for some. How many of us ask our, our friends or family a question about, you know, what do you, how does this look? Or what do you think I should do? How many of us do that? Mm -hmm. And why do you think that is? Because we don't trust. We haven't developed enough trust within ourselves. And it's a lifelong long journey, so don't beat up on yourself. You know, it happens when it's supposed to happen. So this is what was my career path. WKKC at Columbia College, I worked the love sessions. I, I went to school from, no, I went to school, I opened up the radio station at 7 o'clock in the morning from 7 until 9. I did the news, I hated it, but I needed the experience because I thought news was, was what I wanted to do until I got a chance because news is so depressing. It was depressing in the 90s, so you, could, you know what it is now. Who looks at the news in the morning? How horrible is it? Mugging, shooting, stabbings, you name it the whole night. Who wants to, do, who wants to report that? Now, you make a lot of money reporting news, but what that does to your psychic is a whole nother story. You walking around Miss Beanie all the time. You know, you got all that negative energy in you, so you gotta be careful what you let what you let inside your head. So anyway, um, I would work from, I'd open the radio station at seven o'clock in the morning, work from seven to nine doing the news. From nine until about one, I had classes. I may have had a, a break at one, uh, I, I had a part-time job. I worked from, for like four hours, and then I went back to the radio station, and then I worked until midnight. Wow. Had no life. Hated it. The only thing that saved me was working in the radio station, because that's where my fun was. I never, I, I don't like school. Never did. Just did because I knew somebody had sense enough to tell me to go to school. Did anybody here tell you you gotta get out? You don't have to go somewhere, but you gotta get out of here and go to school. <laughs> <laughs> anybody ever tell you that? Well, yeah. <laughs> so, my first uh, internship was at WVON. I know you all don't remember that because you're a little bit too young. But, uh, I remember that. I used to work you, there. Did you? Yeah, in sales. Some did you? Us oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, that was way back in the day. Yeah, I know you all don't remember that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Her Val Landon was, oh, yes, yeah. Val Landon was uh, uh, the news director there and she hired me the first day. My first day I did show up. Because oh. I had to be there at 4 o'clock in the morning and I didn't have a car. And I lived in Wicker Park, right off of Damon and Division, and it was on Kids Inn and something. And I was like, you know, I should have took this internship. So, you know, you might you might make some mad friends along the way. And she wasn't one of my friends, but she was pissed that I didn't show up. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I got my first job, WJPC AM FM, another strong song. Anybody remember that remember station? That wow, is she yeah. old or what? All these radio stations we never even heard of. Anyway, moving along, guess who owned that station? WJPC Johnson Publishing Company. Oh, really? Okay. And he was the first African American in the city of Chicago, so I owe my career all to this man. Let's give wow. Johnny Johnson a great big round of applause. And just yesterday, he was honored with a stamp in his name. Mm -hmm. oh, That's wow. in his limited quantity, so you might want to get yours, okay? Order so much you had to leave. Bye. And we've oh, had another, oh, no. we yeah. had another Soul Train founder, Don Cordelius, made his mark. Do you, you I know yeah. you don't know who he is. Oh, you I get to MTV? My hair used to look like that. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> all hair used to look like that. Yeah, all I can look like that. I know you all don't yeah. know him, but in, uh, this Soul Train was before MTV. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Soul Train was it. Yes. 